some people can focus at one thing for a long time and some people get distracted very soon. So what is focus? Focus is a skill that can be learned. There can be various distraction tools. But what do you do with these distractions and how committed are you to your primary goal? Between the skill of focus and the will to develop this focus, it is important that you have the will to learn this skill. And in this video and through this video, I'm going to share with you something which can change in you with which you can focus a little more than before you started watching this video. Are you ready? Then come with me. So why do people suffer from focus and concentration issue? Here's why. Because what they're doing, they don't like doing, which is why everything outside this seems interesting and seems distractive. So every time you're getting disturbed, every time you're getting distracted, every time, every time you're going out of focus, I want you to ask yourself this one powerful question. Am I liking what I'm doing? Is this going to change my life? Will I be influenced by this activity? And if your answer is no, don't be surprised why you're getting distracted. So figure out. Some people say, I want to do IIT. And then they get disturbed too fast, too soon. Some people say, I want to clear some examination. Focus on 10. They say, I want to focus on 10 standard board examination and get 90 percentage. But they don't. You know why? Because they get disturbed. They get distracted. They go outside this. Why? Because what they said was not close to them. Because what they said didn't mean sense to them. Because what they said, they didn't mean it deep inside their heart. And when you do such things, which is not connected with your with your core, there's a heavy chance of you getting disturbed and distracted. So find out for yourself whether that's what you really want to do. That's more important. When you do what you want to do, there is less effort for that. And when you do that which you do not want to do, then there is tremendous effort going in that. Now, check out whether you want to do it. Really find that out for yourself. Are you doing it because you want to do it or are you doing it to please society, parents or somebody else? And the key is to focus on one thing at a time one thing at a time. It is not to do many things. It's to do one thing at a time. Successful people have not done thousand things. They've done six things thousand times and that changes everything. That's what makes the difference. Laser point focus. How much are you willing to focus on something and focus on it? Whether you're doing geometry or whether you're doing financial planning. Doesn't matter what you're doing. The outcome of your life depends on how much you're able to focus on that, what you're doing. Our brain is a muscle and it can just expand to whatever you train it to do. Okay. And once it learns what it learns, it will never be able to undo that. So you can teach focus and then it learns focus. Learn it till it gets into your muscle and brain is a muscle. The brain controls your body. If it wouldn't have controlled the body, you could have moved a bulldozer. The brain controls your body and the good news is you control the brain. Everything can be taught. Focus can be taught too. At the end of this video, I am sure you will be able to focus a little more, more than where you began. Focus like Arjun. And yes, you can have the focus of Arjun to see what you want to see and choosing to delete everything around it, which even maybe the universe that begins by prioritizing your needs, your wants. So there are things that you have to do, you want to do, you need to do. But now set a priority list. Not everything needs to be done now. Multitasking may sound exciting but it's not result oriented. Multitasking is good when it is in the brain, but when you're doing something, it should be one thing. That's what will give you focus. So if you're doing maths, do maths. Don't text, don't drink water in between, don't get up for a walk, don't look at the TV, don't do something else, 
do maths. When you finish maths, say I'm taking a break. In the five minutes break, you can drink water, listen to music, WhatsApp somebody, go on Facebook, do what you want to do. Prioritizing is important. If you don't prioritize, you will not be the priority of your goal. Your goals will not be on your priority list. So there are some things you need to delete from your life completely. Find out what are the activities you can delete completely. Find out who are the people you can delete completely. If you are associated with people without goals, remember, they may brush their energies on you. Delete some people. Delete some tasks. Delete some activities. Delete some actions which are not aligned with your goals. Delete them. That is the way you will create your priority. Create your priority lists today. There are some things that you may do for which the effort is this much, but the result is this much. That is called as the 80-20 principle. You put 20% effort and you get 80% results. There are some chapters like that, which is, which is like an eight page chapter, but it comes for four marks. And sometimes there's a chapter like a P block element, which is like so many pages, but it comes for less marks. I'm just quoting an example here. So find out where you can put minimum effort and get maximum result. That should be your priority first. So grab onto your priority list, put your complete energy on your priority list and take it. Work with the 80-20 principle and see how the principle helps you grow into your focus. So focus on your priority and your priority becomes your goal. So here's how I work. I don't work do ghanta ek saath. I don't work for two hours together or four hours together. I work in definite patterns. Now I'm going to share with you the pattern which which has helped me grow, which has helped my team grow and how we have successfully made whatever is possible. Including this video, we would have strategized it, planned it, worked on it and then we are releasing it. So, so there is a particular structure how we will do it. Then I'm going to share with you how I put in four hours without putting in four hours and here's how it is. I take my phone and I set the stopwatch. I do not work for more than 25 minutes at one go. So I put off my phone and only keep my stopwatch on and I start it and I start working. Once it is 25 minutes, this rings and I stop what I'm doing and now I take a 10 minutes break. Post the 10 minutes, I again come to a 25 minute cycle. So I work in multiples of 25 minutes. Now what happens is, I don't take calls during that time. I don't talk to people during that time. I don't drink water. I don't go to the washroom. I don't do anything during that 25 minutes. That 25 minutes, I sit like I sit. And I fully, fully, fully do only that one thing what I do. Now I invite you to do that. I'm going to share this with you. There are apps in the description when you read, I'm going to share with you links of many such focus tools. I'm going to share that with you. You can download it for free. Yeah. So like this and subscribe this because you're going to get so many free resources. Yeah. Now I sit in multiples of 25 minutes. So what happens is I end up sitting for four hours, but yet I do not feel the pain of four hours because I do it in 25 minutes, 10 minutes break, 25 minutes, 10 minutes break, 25 minutes and so on. After four such installments, I take a good two hour break. Then again, I come with the next 25 minutes, 25 minutes, 25 minutes, 25 minutes. Isn't that a good idea? I can sit for four hours with a scheduled break. I discipline my distraction and I discipline my emotion. So whether it's catching Pokemon, I will do it in the 10 minutes. Whether it is drinking water, I will do it in the 10 minutes. Whether it's fighting with a friend, I will do it in the 10 minutes. Not in that 25 minutes. So let's do an activity right now. What is the most important thing to you? What is your most important goal? Whatever that goal which you just wrote, ask yourself, is it a reward goal or is it an action goal? Like, have you said that I want 10 crores of rupees or did you say I'm going to invest 5,000 rupees every month? So whatever that is, Whatever that is, make sure that your goal is an action based goal. So now that you have your goal and you have definite actions for the goal. Now ask yourself, 
how many times in a day are you going to do this and by when do you want your goal to be fulfilled for example you know that there is a unit test coming up so for that unit test you need two percentage more which means you have to study for seven hours in one week for geometry so you have to find out how many times will I do it and when is my goal getting matured you need to have a time lapse for it now I'm going to share a worksheet over here in this video download that worksheet for free this worksheet will take you through a step-by-step -step goal realization process so how do I focus focus begins by committing to the tiny steps okay, okay? committing to the tiny steps now what are these tiny steps so let's say you go to a gym and uh, you want to lose weight or you want to start studying so what is the smallest thing that you can do get the books ready keep the phones away have the right food set up the right environment delete all possible distractions learn to discipline your emotions what do I mean by discipline your emotions it means there could have been something happened which is overwhelming you something which would have disturbed you in the past could be a fight between your friends or some relational issues or whatever discipline your distractions discipline your emotions there is a time for that but not now when you're willing to focus set up the environment the right music if you want the right table which you want set it up nutrition nutrition is important when i say nutrition i'm talking of soups and salads and the right protein intake the nutrition has to be good eating regularly throughout the day is important and above all of this it's very important to set up the mindset why is it important to set up the mindset because it's the mindset it's the mindset that will drive you it's the mindset that drives Mahatma Gandhi to stay hungry for all those 80 odd days it is the mindset that drove Viktor Frankl to go beyond the concentration camp it is the mindset that has made Winfrey Oprah it's the mindset that's made Barack Hussein Obama it's the mindset that has made Narayan Murthy it is the mindset yes it's the mindset whether you're building your body life career relationships or whatever you are building that mindset is important everything else is also important but nothing as important as your mindset commit yourself to these micro habits because micro habits will give you mega results most people focus on a goal but they forget what actions to take to support that goal so somebody would say I want to get an ideal weight of 75 kilos but then they forget to go for walks drink water have boiled food uh, reduce the carbs etc now you are not going to get your goal if you're not going to follow these actions these actions are what you must commit yourself to not to this goal remember goal is a reward which is beyond your control actions are actionable tasks which are completely in your control if you commit yourself to these micro habits the mega result is yours would you agree with me on that good now listen to this imagine a child saying that I want to get 720 out of 800 imagine a child saying I want to get 98 percentage imagine the child saying I want to get 100 out of 100 these are all goals but what happens to the goal if you do not have an action plan imagine if you had an action plan like I will get up every day at 5 o'clock and study for two hours before I go to college or school good action plan imagine an action plan which says I am going to write down 200 MCQs every day that's a good action plan imagine a child who says I'm going to talk to my coach and my mentor every day for 20 minutes asking my doubts and getting motivation and getting inspired with it now when you commit yourself to this definite action plans you stay focused and the way you can stay focused is by ensuring that you are committing yourself to these action plans mini habits micro habits will alter the course of your goal these mini habits are going to be fully fully responsible for your mega goal and you are going to be responsible for ensuring the focus on these mini goals stay focused committing to those tiny steps are very important you know why because these tiny steps will give you tiny results the integration of all these tiny results will give you the mega result you can get 50 to 80 percentage straight 
50 should go to 52, we'll go to 53, we'll go to 58, we'll go to 62, we'll go to 72. Like that it will become 80. So if you have a whole year and if your target is to get 2% more in every examination, unit test, semester, next unit test, next semester, every year you can go up 8%. So commit yourself to this tiny steps. I will read one answer daily. I will read one concept and understand that daily. I will talk to my mentor daily. These are small steps which will help you to focus on your focus, which will help you to focus on your concentration ability and it will help you grow. And make these tiny steps measurable. So if you're joining a gym, you pick up the dumbbell, you know, okay, today I picked up the dumbbell, this is what happened to my hand, this is what happened to my weight, this is what happened to my clothes, etc. Measure the success of every small step that you take. When your actions become measurable, you get closer to your goal. You get more closer to your goal depending on how important that goal is. Purpose is very important. Yes, your purpose is very important. If you are leading an action which is not driving your purpose, then I'm telling you, you wouldn't go too far. There has to be a purpose, a desperate fire inside your belly, which is driving you to go behind your purpose. What is your purpose? For what reason do you want to get 90%? For what reason do you want to get selection into IIT? For what reason do you want to become a doctor? For what reason? Yes, for what reason? When you get the answer for what reason and when your answer is much beyond pay packet and salary and money, that's your purpose. When you have a purpose to give more, to serve more, to become more, then that purpose finds the fire, will find the manure and you will grow. You will grow to ignite, you will grow to spread more light. Yes, you have to discover your purpose. Once you discover your purpose, you will be able to focus. The, the reason people have laser sharp focus is because they have identified their purpose. People without focus will be people without purpose. It's like taking the bicycle and riding to no man's land, riding to no man's place, riding on a no man's journey. You don't know where you're going. You don't know why you're going. You don't know what the reason you're doing it. You're just doing it because somebody is doing it. You're doing it because everybody is doing it. You're doing it because if I don't do it, people will blame me. You're doing it. When you do things without your own purpose, you will be defeated. The right way to do things is to do it because you have an undying commitment to the purpose. And when you discover what your purpose is, you will find your focus. And that is the beginning of focus. So focus is a very scientific approach. If you follow these things that is mentioned in this video, me and my team are very sure. My team and I are extremely sure at this point in time that you will reach your goals faster. Why do we need focus to reach to that goal? And if you prioritize things, you will reach to that goal. Download the tools, download the free goal realization kit. It will help you and answer them. Okay, don't just download and keep it. It's useless if you download and keep it, right? It will not happen. It's like buying some seeds and keeping it in your house. It will not grow into fruits and flowers. It will not. So it's pointless if you download and accumulate it. Download, sit with it, write it, fill it, use it. Now see how your life begins to change for good. So write back to us and let us know. What is the next video you would want us to make for you? And we would love to do it for you. Thank you. Good luck and do well.